hello 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 welcome back to my channel hi this is rosie rosette 2020 and i am here to talk about the coronavirus okay so remember i was talking about um different states and i was mentioning i think i mentioned arizona like a couple weeks ago but looking at cnn last night you know i was saying california texas and florida but actually the numbers that are increasing like crazy are Texas, Arizona, and Florida. Oh yes, Texas, Arizona, and Florida. So let's look at the, the stats in Arizona. I don't know, I was like, what other, because I was thinking about what other state, because I know, I mean, I know California is not, you know, the best ranking state, but okay, wait, let me, all right, so, Okay, here's the graph for Arizona. And sorry, I have not, you know, given you guys any numbers about Arizona, but so far there are 98,000 confirmed cases. And as of last night, or the last time this was um, taken, there's like 2,700 people who have contracted the, vi yeah, the virus and 1,800 people have died but 17 have died in the past 24 hours or when it was taken. Okay, so right now in America, there's 2.9 million people in America who have contracted the virus. And as of in the past 24 hours, like almost 51,000 people, 8,700 and no, 879,000 have recovered and 132,000 people have died. So I would like to, but look, I want you to look at the graph. So this was in April. Now in April, remember in New York or California, or yeah, basically it was basically New York and California, that the numbers were, you know, the graph was like this. And, and now they're pretty much like this in New York, I'll say New York. But in Arizona, it's the reverse. Now, again, I don't know if it's because if because people are being tested now. I don't know. So on the 4th, there were 2,060, 2,600, almost 2,700. But I wanted to know, okay, July 1st, there were 4,000, almost 5,000 people um, contracted the, the virus or tested for the virus. I want to know what's the population in Arizona because isn't there a lake? Lake. Oh, and it's a beautiful lake. Um, I think for the fourth, a lot of people go to the lake. Oh, God, what is it? Okay, let's do. Okay. There's only 7 million, 7.2 million people in, in Arizona compared to, there's 7.2 million in Arizona and 1,800 deaths, okay? There's 40 million people, let me put this up there so you can look at that. There's 40 million people in California and I think there's 600 deaths. So what's the ratio, 7? to 40 so there's seven divided by 40 is like five yeah seven to 40 so there's five times more people in california yet the death rate is it's not five times because we have six thousand they have almost two thousand three times we have three times as many deaths um and look at the numbers look at how it's skyrocketing look at how the numbers are skyrocketing you see that the graph is not going down it's not decreasing it's increasing you see you see this right here this is not good this is not good the same thing is happening in florida I just spoke to someone who's in Florida right now. She's at Nikki 
speech. Um, I don't want to say her name, but you know, she's at Nikki Beach and there was no one there. Here it is. Look at the numbers. It was flat and now it's going up. It's going up. This is not good. 11,000, almost 11.5 thousand people contracted the virus on the, yesterday. Is this? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. This is the fourth. Today's the fifth. This is yesterday. 11.5 thousand people contracted in 24 hours. That's not a place. My cousin is going to Denver. She lives in Oklahoma. I said, don't go anywhere that you may be stuck at for 14 days. <coughs> she, you know, her best friend wants to go. Ooh, ooh. Out of all the time for you to visit someone, you want to visit, you want to get on the plane. Maybe she's driving. No, I think she's flying. She wants to fly to Denver. The second, this is the same cousin that wanted to come out here from California. No, you don't understand. We're in the middle of pandemic. You should not even be leaving your city, much less boarding a flight. You know, going somewhere unnecessarily. You know, if someone dies or you have a sick parent, okay, I get that. I understand that. But if you're just going to kick it, oh no, 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 no. And then, um. A friend of mine. Is he at least? Anyway, um, you know, he drives a truck, and I was like, I hadn't seen him post, and you know, people driving a truck, you never know what's going on or whatever. And he literally like posts, he posts this thing every morning. Shout out to Robbie. Every morning, good morning, or whatever. And um he hadn't did it in like five days. So, you know, I didn't know if something had happened to him on the truck. I don't know if he caught the COVID, if he's in the hospital and sick and, you know, he can't, you know, he can't say anything. He can't, you know, touch his hand. I don't know. So I, you know, I inboxed him. I'm like, Hey, what's going on? You know, are you okay? No response, no response. So I inboxed his sister like, Hey, what's going on with your brother? She never answered. Oh, well. And, um, I guess maybe she told him, Hey, you know, Rosie's looking for you. I don't know why she's looking for you, but whatever. You know, she's like, can you, can you, you know, say something so, can she, so she can stop bothering me? So, you know, basically he said that he was in Vegas and um, for the holiday, which he said, but I thought he was going later in the month or whatever. Not, I, we're not together. I'm not his guardian or anything not like that. I'm just, you know, making sure that, you know, people are okay. You know, like this other guy, shout out to Matt, um, you know, on... What was that? Was it the 4th or July 1st or recently? You know, he's like, I'm in the ER. Like, oh my God, I think this was the 1st of July. Well, can you let us know when you're out of ER? And, you know, because what I'm thinking is, you know, if anybody goes to the hospital, you know, especially when you're in the ER, you know, and they keep you overnight. Okay, well, then something is going on. But can, I'm so I'm still thinking that you're in the ER. It's good that you let people know, okay, I'm fine. This is what happened. You know, this is blah, blah, blah. The same thing when people say, okay, pray for me. Well, what am I actually praying for? Because, you know, I could be praying that you, you know, get the strength to kill your, your spouse or something. No, 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 no. Don't ask me to pray unless you're going to give some type of details. Okay. My mother's sick. You know, my child is driving me crazy. I'm about to lose my house. My car is on the flat. I'm about to beat this car. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, give us some detail because I'm not going to pray for you to do something illegal and insane. No, no, no. So, you know, give us some detail. So I said all that to be said. Um, he's okay. I, You know, I didn't know if he had Corona in the truck. Not that I'm wishing that, but you know, I, you just never know. You know, you could be asymptomatic and then you could pass out like... um. D.L. Hughley. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you guys got to let us know in these times. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be like, oh, well, no, he didn't do, He didn't say that. But I'm just like, you know, when you do something every single day, you know, that good morning, he posts a, he always posts a beautiful picture every morning. And, you know, I have a lot of friends on Facebook 
<coughs> and you know, I don't, I don't track everyone, but if someone, you know, every single day either posts something or comments or something, and then they don't for a couple of days, I'm like, well, what's going on? It's not that I'm nosy. It's more of, you know, a concern. So please, Robert, don't think that I'm being nosy with it because you know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no. Well, yeah, I am nosy. I am. I'm not going to lie. I, I am very nosy, but I'm, okay, I'm concerned. And it's not a lot of people that I'm concerned with, but the people who are of my concern, you know, I have, I'm vested. Okay, can we leave it like that? So all that being said, the, all of these people who are parlaying all over the country, make sure you sign that waiver, okay? <clears throat> Please sign that waiver so that if you get sick, we ain't got to pay for it, okay? Nope. We, we ain't got to pay for it. We ain't got to pray for you, whatever, because you took that risk. Although, you know, you knew that there's a pandemic going around and, you know, there's a possibility that you may contract something because... It's, you know, the same thing with crack. You guys need to sign that waiver, that crack and meth and heroin, whatever. You know what crack does to people. Crack, cocaine. So I don't mind you guys take it. But if you do want to, you know, do crystal or meth, crystal meth, eh, um, you know, whatever. Popping pills or whatever. Can you sign that waiver so that when you're of sound and body mind wait sound mind and body whatever that is that you know okay i'm well right now but knowing that what crack and meth does to average humans maybe you think you're super superhuman i don't know but you know that once i become a crackhead or a meth head that i waive the right to get help Okay, just, can we just, please, please, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You guys know there's a pandemic. In Florida, 11,500 cases have come about. You know, in Arizona, I just showed you, they had 4,500 or 8,000, something like that. Um, Texas, same thing. Now, if you guys want to enter into those areas or come out of those areas, Sign that waiver, and we're all good. We're all, please, we're all good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, you know, I hope these numbers get better. But I think after this holiday, and I think after this, we don't have any more holidays up until the end of the beginning of September. So hopefully, if we can get past this holidays, and you know, people, they may get, you know, they may contract. I might contract it. But hopefully I don't, you know, they have enough ventilators and everything where I don't expire. Please cross your fingers. If not, I make sure you have pink roses at my anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's about it regarding this subject. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. I gotta go.